Hello. This is a screencast for the Hitmakers book presentation that you're going to be putting together. And what I wanted to do is cover something new we didn't talk about in class. But I'm going to throw this your way, and I know you can handle it because you're awesome. But I want you to upload your slideshow to slideshare.net. And what you're seeing here on this page right now, uh, Slideshare allows you to present full screen uh, and embed into any web any web presence like our, our our class website and it allows people to go through the presentation um, it's public they don't have to have access but it looks like the real slideshow um, but it just lives online now what I like about this over Google Slides is that Google Slides is great compose your material in Google Slides um, you can create a share link you can do all that this site though uh, slideshare is really intended to be a place to store things now uh, Slideshare.net is like YouTube for video. There are millions of presentations in Slideshare. And the reason I'm showing you this is one of my favorite sites for getting resources for teacher stuff. For instance, if I search for a math component that I might need to teach, I'm probably going to find dozens of presentations pre-built that will do it. So think about it. What you're trying to accomplish in your classroom and resources you're going to need, if you come to Slideshare.net, and search, you're going to find all kinds of resources that are out there that are incredible. Um, again, this is a, your personal learning network or professional learning network. You extend it out, and now SlideShare can be part of that. And the people who publish here are adding to your network. So I implore you to check this out. Now, if you want to hunt a little deeper, what you're looking at right now is a presentation that was done by Andrew during the summer class. Now, coincidentally, uh, Dylan is going to be doing this presentation. And uh, if I go over here, you can see Dylan has picked chapter four. Now, I'm not trying to uh, give Dylan extra goodies to work on, but he could find this presentation in SlideShare, take a look at what Andrew had done, and be influenced, be inspired, and so on. And the same thing for all of you. Uh, there are, again, there's information in there. SlideShare could have the presentation you're looking for. So. What I want you to do, I'll do the quick overview, and then I'm gonna take you through step-by-step, step, taking your slideshow from Google Slides, exporting it, importing it into slideshare.net, and then getting the link from slideshare and putting it into our class website so that it's ready to go for uh, when we get together next time. So how do we do all this? Well, here we go, let's start here. First off, let me go over to Dylan's presentation that he did uh, when he presented himself. And let's export it out. So I'll go to File. So this is just a sample. So I'm just using his as a sample to export. And I go down to Download As. And I click on PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. And it's going to download this to my computer. And I'll put it on the desktop. Then I'm going to go over to SlideShare. And I'm going to create an account. So if you haven't created an account, go ahead and sign up and create an account. SlideShare is owned by LinkedIn. And I strongly recommend you having a LinkedIn account. It is the professional Facebook. Um, I've been headhunted by many people because of LinkedIn. And I think it's a really good tool to use to add to your portfolio uh, for online resources. And we can talk more about that in a different class. But I'm going to go back because I already have an account. And I'm going to log in. And I log in. Wait for it. Wait for it. OK. Now I'm going to click the upload button and I'm going to go find the file. So I go here and I happen to know it's on the desktop and I'm going to click open. And I can see full name here. I'm just going to um, call this, um, let's just pretend it was chapter four and I can name that the force. Well, I can spell. Story. Okay, and I can write a description here about what the presentation is. I can choose a category, and uh, education is usually what I do for mine, and tags. And this could be story, and so on and so forth. I can put other things here. Remember, tags are awesome. They're what, what help us find stuff on the internet. And then I click publish. And okay, I got to type something here. Let's go here. Boom, something, publish. And I wait for it. 
And once I get here, I'm done. And what I can do is I can grab this web address and this is the link that I need. So I copy this and I'm gonna go over to our website and everybody should have received an email uh, with an invitation to the site. I just sent that out. And uh, again, you should have that so that you can get into the site. If you can't get into it, let me know. If you see these buttons, that means you're logged in. So to log in, it should have a login uh, option here. Let me uh, sign out so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm going to go to Google. You'll have the link, but I'm just gonna go back here. Navigate over to where our site is. No, no, it's going to force me to log back in. That's fine. I'll just sign back in. Okay, and I'm going to go down to here, and I'm I'm signed in, so I'm going to see these options. What I do to get to our page is I click on the page I want. In this case, the Hitmakers book page. And we can see our names down here. And we want to make a link to the slide share thing on our name. So how do I do that? I'm gonna click the edit icon here. And I'm gonna come down to uh, Dylan and I'll highlight his name. And then click on the chain link icon, which is right up here. And then I have to click on web address. And I'm gonna paste in that link I copied from slide share. And I'm gonna click okay. And when I'm done with that, I will see it change color and be underlined and then I click Save. Now, if I click on Dylan, it should take me over to SlideShare and the presentation, and I could start the presentation if I wanted, and there it is. Now, what I'm gonna do is delete this presentation because this is not mine, this is Dylan's. I'm gonna delete it off my SlideShare, and I'm gonna show you how to edit. Because let's say you upload the presentation and you realize a day later or something that there's a typo or something you wanna add to it, no big deal. You can delete the old one and replace the old one very easily. Now what's really neat about this, and, and I, I'm really excited about this, I will not have to, if I go back here to our page and refresh this, the link that I put right here, I don't have to redo this. I can leave this alone. I'm, I'm gonna replace the slideshow with a newer version on SlideShare, but I do not have to relink it. The presentation that I'm going to replace um, will keep the same link. And it's this really cool swap option they have. So what I do is I'm going to go over here to my uploads. So you can see all the presentations I've uploaded. And of course I will see the last one right here. I'm going to click edit. Did I click it? I'll click it again. I'll click it like I mean it. And this is the magic. It says re-upload. When I click this option, it basically is saying, select the file, the new one that I want to replace for the old one, find that, let's pretend like I made some changes, I would find this, I would open it, and then um, I would upload. Okay? And, uh, or let's say change, I'll hit change. Oh no, I guess <laughs> I click upload. And when I click upload, it's going to swap out the old one with the new one. The link will stay the same at our Google Sites webpage. I don't have to change that. And so this is a really neat feature, and I can do this whenever I want to or, or as much as I want to. While I'm here, I'll click on Privacy Settings. Right now, when we upload things, by default, it's public. I can make it private if I didn't want people to see it. That's an option I have. Uh, editing Details. I can go in and change pretty much everything here on the original. And essentially, that's SlideShare. So in review, I want your link to be here and I want you to have this done two days before class so for us that'll be October 2nd because we'll be meeting on the 4th um, if you could have it by the evening of the 2nd that gives me that evening and I like to say like dinner time because that'll give me the evening to go through and check things plus also the next day to be able to prepare because uh, what I like to do is have a, a couple days to prepare for class and when we come together I have materials ready for you so that we can spend the most time talking to each other and making meaning with our material and not um, uh, working on nuts and boltsy things that could be done outside of class. Feel free to connect with me, email me, scottleduke at gmail.com. 
if you have any questions about any of this stuff. But there you go. Uh, this is available for you, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.